Hey you guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. Today I'm behind the camera to bring you a new Plan With Me video. Today's theme is going to be Breast Cancer Awareness. Now, when I decided to do this theme a couple months ago, it was probably July, I don't even think I had my new Erin Condren planner, so I had no idea what color scheme was going to be for October. Well, I had an idea it was going to be orange, but I really didn't think about it, to be honest. So, when I'm flipping through here, looking at my planner, and realize that it is orange and brown... I realized I'm going to have my work cut out for me today because I'm going to have to cover up most of the orange and brown spots to make it look pink. I have several different planner supplies out with me today to help me cover up these areas. Now, in case you didn't watch my last planner supplies haul video, this is the set right here that I am using the sticker set for this week's layout. I purchased this breast cancer awareness sticker set from Paper Cuts and Pliers on Etsy. So everything that I do today, I'm going to be making sure that it matches up with this sticker set right here. Okay, in previous Plan With Me videos, I have really not addressed the very top dates. But on this one, I'm going to have to since they are orange and brown. So, I have gotten out my 1.5 inch circle punch that I purchased from, I think this one came from Hobby Lobby. And what I've done is I took this and my light pink scrapbook paper and I cut out some circles. Then I took my scissors and I took the circle and I cut the circle in half. So I've got this little half moon type of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and it is the perfect size to cover up up here. So this I'm going to take and I'm going to glue them right over the dates. Now, I have applied all of my little half moons to the top of my planner spread, and the dates are now covered up. And I did leave a little bit of the orange sticking out at the bottom, just to give it a little bit of detail. And honestly, um, it didn't cover up the whole date if I brought it all the way down to the very edge. So, I did not want that to happen. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these Heidi Swap stamps that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. Let me do this so you can kind of see it. That I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to be using the day of the week and the numbers at the top to put the day of the week and the actual date on my little half moons at the top. Okay, you guys, I now have all of my days of the week and my days placed on the very top of my spread. And I will make sure to put a link below to all of the products I use today. So the punch and the stamps that I just use, I will put links below to where you can purchase those products. And probably, not the next step, but the next step, I'm probably going to try to cover up the orange underneath the dates. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my little to-do section down here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to apply washi tape to the orange line. Now I'm using my little two inch banner punch and my light pink scrapbook paper, I'm going to make my to-do headers for my bottom section. Now using the Heidi Swap finger with the ribbon tied around it, I'm going to apply black Versa Magic ink to it and apply it to all of my headings. For my next step, I'm going to cover up the Thankful Thought 
box up here in the left corner using my different colors of pink washi tape. I'm going to use the chevron and the polka dots and the stripes. I forgot to mention I still have these that I talked about in a few videos ago. These are the pink ribbon um, stickers that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. They were 50% off at the time I purchased them, so I'm going to use these in addition to the paper cuts and pliers stickers. Now let me give you a little up close look at how everything looks. There's my little washi tape so you can't see the little thankful thing. And I plan on putting something over this in just a second. So that is how it looks right now. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to apply some washi tape underneath each one of these dates. Just to kind of cover up some of the orange. All right, so now that is all covered up, and the next thing I'm going to do is apply this little header right here that says weekend over this washi tape over Saturday and Sunday. All right, I'm sorry, I'm kind of, I have to have it perfect or it's just not going to work, so it took me several times of messing around with it to get it to look the way I wanted it. Okay, now, so I've got that in. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to fill in my two videos that I'm going to do this week. Using my pink Statler marker or pen. Next, I'm going to try to cover up the last bit of orange in this middle little section. And I think I'm going to try to use some of these little stickers right here to do that. Now I've got my last little bit of orange covered up. Now I know the little outlines are in orange, but you know what? I'm just gonna have to deal with that because the majority of my planner now is pink. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna apply my little social media stamps to the middle section using my new Studio L2E Making Planning Fun stamp set. Before I get started applying my stamps to my planner, I just want to give one little bit of information. Let me explain one of the reasons why I love Studio L2E and their stamps. I have used several different brands of stamps, and I'm going to tell you their stamps are the best when it comes to sticking to your acrylic block uh, and, you know, staying there. You can stamp it, and it doesn't move around and pull off. It's not frustrating. It's got just enough sticky. When you wash them, it still has the cling to your acrylic block. So it is very high quality, their stamps. If you are on the fence about purchasing stamps from Studio L2E, just make the purchase. You will not regret it.
And I'm going to be using the Versa Magic Pink Grapefruit as my ink color. And I'm hoping that this shows up. Okay, you guys, I just cut my stamps because it was getting on my nerves. Now, I usually only put the Facebook and Instagram on my layout, and it also had the Pinterest, the uh, YouTube, and the Twitter, and I don't use those, so I just cut those off. So now it's going to work out a whole lot better. Now my middle section is done and you guys, it's going to take a little bit of time to get the hang of that because these are a tad bit smaller than I thought they were going to be. So I put two sets of stamps on there to make sure that I'm posting to each one of these social media accounts twice a day. So I know that's not perfect, but believe me, planning is and decorating is a learning experience every time you do it. So. Some of it I got a little bit of, you know, mess up, but that's just how life goes. The last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in with my stamps from Paper Cuts and Pliers and Hobby Lobby. And you guys, I'm completely finished with this week's layout. I was very nervous about it at first because I didn't know how I was going to cover up all of the orange and brown, especially the dates at the top, but I think I made it work. So I hope you enjoyed seeing me um, complete this week's planner decorating. Here's a little up close look one more time. So now all I have to do is fill in all of my to-dos. Um, my menu and my daily checks for my social media. So if you like the plan with me type of videos, please give this video a thumbs up. So I hope you subscribe if you haven't done so already and I hope y'all have a fantastic week. So until next time, bye.